Hello everybody and welcome to the wonderful world of Weaver. Today I will be talking about my Huey on Canvas GT221 Pro. The reason why it's a 221 is because it's 22.1 inch screen. Now this beautiful beast of a pen tablet monitor comes with two separate electronic pens and it comes with 18 replaceable pen tips as well as a ring to be able to remove the pin tip from the electronic pin itself. Now on the monitor itself you have 10 buttons on either side. These ones are fully programmable but what you program for one side is programmed for the other side. So with the 20 buttons you only have 10 commands that you can use. It's still better than most others, because a lot of pen tablet monitors do not come with more than maybe like three or four, depending. Alright, so, up at the top you have five extra buttons. One for your power, one for your menu, a plus and minus for volume, and auto. Let's turn this thing on and see what it looks like. Alright, so, as you see, I have my Clip Studio Paint EX from Smith Micro brought up right now. And one of the cool additional things that I like that comes out, actually, with the monitor is a little hand glove. This prevents oil and debris or whatever else might be on your hand from getting onto the screen. Now, when we bring up the interface for this, I can show you everything that allows you to work on the screen. The work area basically shows everywhere that you can use the pin. So you can change the work area from your entire screen to just a small portion if you don't want to have to like worry about all this space over here and touching it with your pin. Then your stylus. It shows you what these buttons are for. I currently have mine undefined right now because I accidentally broke off the uh, buttons on it. That was completely by accident. Um, I dropped it and it kind of decided to fling itself across the room and hit a wall. But anyways, over here you have your pressure sensitivity. I have mine set to zero. And then pressure test allows you to see the effects of the 8,191 different pressure sensitive array on this tablet, which I think is kind of awesome. You make it as big or as small as you possibly can. And then from there, you have your button keys. And each one of mine are set up to a different key that will allow me to erase, rotate, clear, undo, and go over to my GTX 1080 and open up a screen capture. Which, that only happens on my main computer screen right now. So, if I want to capture anything on this screen, I gotta switch this one over to the main monitor. But, those are all the buttons that I have programmed to it right now. Whatever you do, do not uncheck enable press keys. Or enable touch. Because if you do, you will not be able to use any of these buttons on either side or work with a stylus. Alright, so, now on to my drawing platform file no oh, hold on oh ah, see that's what happens I accidentally disabled my touch so now I have to bring this back over here so I go to keys what oh, okay all right, there we go. All right, so file, bring up a new one. Now, 
I mainly do all my stuff in the animation part because I like to have a little bit of fun with animating. So in this, the blue square here is the drawing area, which means when you play it, anything that's outside of this blue area will not show up. As you can see with the pen that I'm using, the drawing is very smooth. I can go as light or as dark as I need to. We'll go with the G pin to show you just how light and how thick I can get a line. Back to pen mapping. We'll undo that. So, a commenter on my unboxing video for this actually asked a few very good questions that I want to put in. So, before I go into those questions, I want to thank Walter5850 for providing these questions. Some of them I was going to answer already, but since he put a list of four, I'm going to go ahead and credit him for the questions themselves. Alright, so his first question is, did you get any scratches on the screen and did the matte surface wear out? The matte surface, since I've been using this for a little over six months now, a little over seven months, is still very nice. There are no scratches on it. The matte finish is very nice. His second question is, are lines jaggedy wiggly when you make a slow diagonal line, even with a ruler? Well, we're gonna use two different pen types, the G pen and the mapping pen for this. First up, we're gonna use the mapping. This is a metal ruler. I do not suggest putting this on any kind of screen. I'm only using it right now for convenience because it's the only one that I have and I will never be doing this again. So, with a mapping pin, straight lines do come out a little wobbly. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you can press down hard enough, that won't happen. Well, it won't be as noticeable. But, as of right now, yeah, you can see that pretty clearly. It has, it's almost straight, but there are a few wobbles, like right here, here, down here. So it's a little wobbly, but it's not jagged. Now, where the jagged comes in is with the thicker ones, like the G-Pin. As you can see... You can barely see it, but it's still there. You got jagging all the way up and down. But most of the time, if you're just doing animations or quick little drawings, you don't really have to worry about straight lines or jagged edges because that's kind of a part of the charm of just being able to quickly draw something out. Oh, I don't like that mouth. There we go. And then going over here, do his neck. But yeah, it's not perfect, but then again, it's bigger and cheaper than most of the higher-end pen tablet monitors, which makes it more affordable for people who just want to get into drawing. On top of that, most of all of the Hueon products will have this same capabilities. I've worked with other Hueon products in the past, and they are very nice. They give you the same amount of quality when it comes to drawing. But if you're doing this for like architecture, I would suggest getting one of the higher ends because those higher end ones are well meant for that kind of stuff. But if you're just doing animations, this is definitely one that I would get. I'm going to be using this for a long time and I don't 
see myself getting a new one until this one breaks and even then it will probably be another Huey one since it's cheaper than most other pen tablet monitors on the market nowadays. Question three is any possible game breakers you've discovered. So far the only thing that I have a real problem with is the tracking on the pen when you get closer to the edges isn't exactly perfect. But that's closer to the edges and most animators and artists will generally work more towards the middle of the screen. So it's not too bad, and if it does get too bad, you can always go back and recalibrate the monitor, which it's just a simple 9 dot test that helps calibrate where the pen is going to be at. So always make sure you hit the red dots and it'll bring it in more to the correct area that you want it in. So it's not a game breaker and there isn't really game breaker problems with this one. I'm still glad that I bought this because it is still an amazing pen tablet monitor. With it being so big, it makes it easier for me to work at a desk. Question number four is, could you shoot a close-up to show the parallax effect in case you're doing a review? I'm not quite sure what a parallax effect is. Like I said, I'm an old school artist and this is something new to me, so I need to look that up real quick. Okay, Google, what is the parallax effect? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Parallax is a displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can't really do a parallax effect on this right now because it's something that I would have to work at in order to do like something in 3D. So I'm not really going to get into that can't really answer that so that's definitely a difficult question for me right now but anyways in the end it's not a perfect pen tablet monitor it has its issues but for the price that it was which i actually paid a little bit more to get a little bit extra for it it's an 830 dollar pen tablet monitor which any other pen tablet monitor from any other company would be probably double that especially if it was this big so the fact that the calibration can be a little bit off and that there's jagging on line Lines, waves on straight lines. This really is a good monitor for the price. So, in conclusion, if you're on a budget but you can save up the money, definitely get this monitor. However, if you cannot save up and pay around $900, Hueon has a huge selection of other monitors, some as low as $350. So, you still have options, and most of the time, the pen is like this with the actual buttons there. Now, one other thing is, the pen tip on this, it can get worn out, which is why they have all the other ones. And this one is, I know you can't see it very well because this camera is really bad. But this one is starting to get worn out because of how often I use it. But it's still the first one that I bought. So these pen tips will last you a while. On top of that, it comes with eight other additional ones in the case. 18 for me because I bought it special order to come with another pen and more tips. But if these tips last this long, that means I'll go through maybe one every couple of years. Which means I won't have to get new ones for a very long time. So, this is my review of the Huion Canvas GT221 Pro. And that is all I have for you. Remember everybody, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and donuts are the best breakfast food. This is Gensu Weaver, signing out.